Robomate Plus, India's largest curriculum based study app. Download the app now. Welcome back. Let's see the next question based on linear inequations. The question says solve the following inequation and represent the solution set on the number line. Now, my dear students, if you observe this question here, there are two inequality signs three expressions connected by two inequality signs. It means this is a double linear inequation. Remember, to solve such an inequation, your first step is split it into two single linear inequations. Now, what do I mean by this? So, observe the first two expressions connected by the first inequality sign, that is a less than sign. Now, this part gives us the first single linear inequation minus 3 less than minus half minus 2x upon 3. So this is our first inequation which we have to solve and now my dear students observe the second and the third expressions connected by the second inequality sign here that is less than or equal to. So this part will give us the second linear inequation which is minus half minus 2x upon 3 less than or equal to 5 by 6. Now you have to solve each linear inequation separately here. So first let us solve the first linear inequation. Now in the next step what am I going to do is I will carry minus half to LHS. So on LHS we will get minus 3. Now minus half will become plus half. So you get minus 3 plus half less than what is left on RHS is minus 2x upon 3. Now on LHS what we have to do is LCM minus 3 into 2 will give us minus 6. Minus 6 plus 1 will give us minus 5 divide by 2 less than minus 2x upon 3. Now in the next step what we have to do here is cross multiply. So 3 goes with minus 5 and what you get on LHS is minus 15 less than 2 will go with minus 2x. So 2 into minus 2x on RHS we will get minus 4x. Now to solve this further we have to divide both LHS and RHS by the coefficient of x which is minus 4. So dividing both sides by minus 4 LHS will become minus 15 divided by minus 4. RHS will become minus 4x divided by minus 4 and now remember one very important rule my dear students whenever you divide by a negative number the two sides of an inequality then what happens to the inequality sign is it gets reversed. So here this less than sign which we had this less than sign will now become greater than sign because we have divided by a negative number. That's a very important rule. So in the next step, if you see the LHS here, minus 15 upon minus 4, minus sign will get cancelled and what you have is 15 upon 4. Now 15 upon 4 in decimal fraction answer is 3.75. But remember here you have to write the answer in mixed fraction. So 15 upon 4 in mixed fraction LHS will become 3 integer 3 by 4 greater than minus 4x divided by minus 4 will give us x. So this is the simplified answer of the first inequation. Now let us go to the second inequation. Now what I am going to do here is keeping minus 2x upon 3 on LHS I will transfer minus half to RHS. So on RHS we already have 5 upon 6 when minus half goes here it becomes plus half. Now in the next step LHS will remain same minus 2x upon 3 but if you observe the RHS what you have to do is you have to equalize the denominators here. Now you have 5 upon 6 so the second denominator 2 should also become 6 and to make it 6 what we are going to do is we are going to multiply the second fraction in the numerator by 3 and in the denominator by 3 so that the denominator becomes 6. So this in the next step is equal to 5 the first numerator plus the second numerator will become 3 divided by the common denominator here is going to be 6. 
So this is equal to 8 upon 6 and when you cancel here, what you get is 4 upon 3. So 4 upon 3 is the answer of RHS. Now in the next step, minus 2x upon 3 we will copy as it is less than or equal to RHS will become 4 upon 3 and now let us do cross multiplication here so minus 2x into 3 will give us minus 6x in the next step on LHS less than or equal to 3 fours are will give us 12 to solve this further minus 6 is the coefficient of x we have to divide both sides by minus 6 again we are dividing by a negative number so LHS will become minus 6x upon minus 6, RHS will become 12 upon minus 6 and remember the inequality sign will get reversed. So less than or equal to will now become greater than or equal to. Now on LHS minus 6 minus 6 gets cancelled, what is left is x greater than or equal to 12 upon minus 6 answer is minus 2. So this is the final answer of the second inequation. Now we have to combine these two into a double linear inequation. So what we get in the next step is 3 integer 3 by 4 greater than x and when you combine this here you will get x greater than or equal to minus 2. So your final combined linear inequation is 3 integer 3 by 4 greater than x greater than or equal to minus 2. Now we have solved the given linear inequation Next step is represent this solution, this range on the number line. So first let us decide which are the values which are included in this particular range. Remember they have told us that x belongs to real numbers. So as per this range, x will take up all the real values between 3.75 and minus 2. So x takes up all these values. Now remember 3.75 is not included in this range but minus 2 is included in this range. So now let us show all these values, values between 3.75 and minus 2 including minus 2 on this number line. So you will draw a number line and you will write numbers at equal distances on this number line. Now first let us show the two endpoints from this particular range. So the first endpoint is 3.75 which is 3 integer 3 by 4. It will be a number between 3 and 4 but closer to 4. So if you observe here between 3 and 4 and closer to 4 we will mark a point. Now since this value is not included in the range we will show it by a hollow circle. Now the next endpoint is minus 2 and minus 2 is included in the range. So on minus 2 we will show a filled circle and then all the numbers between these two endpoints are also a part of this range. So this is the solution set on the number line. I hope you understood this process. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video lecture. To watch more such interesting videos, attempt tests and to get instant analysis, download the RoboBait Plus app now.